destiny first card teaching security and then we got retreat so Leo there is somebody that is getting ready to come back around Leo but I feel like whoever this is this is somebody that could be going through some like tough lessons Leo and it's like now this person wants to hold on to you so whoever this is that is coming back around Leo this is somebody that is going through some I'm hearing some some karmic stuff right now and it's like they're trying to play it safe by holding on to you but I don't know why, but somebody could be needing to take a step back. You either are taking a step back or spirit could just be saying you need to take a step back. Or like far as like maybe you just need a break from this person. But it's telling me that if not, it could just be saying even though your person holding on to you for dear life, I feel like somebody could be needing to let go. I don't know. Or just let go of something. Karmic. Whether you need to let go of something karmic, which could be this person is coming back around, or your person needs to let go of something karmic in their life in order to come back to you. But I feel like somebody is being taught a lesson right now. Okay, let's clarify and see what's going on, okay? We got the Hierophant reverse. Some of y'all may have walked away from a, a, a Taurus, don't have to be, but... I just feel like at this point, y'all are not meant to be with this person. Some of you guys, this person may have just left the relationship. And that could be the reason why they're coming back around. Because they just left something. Some of you guys, this person could be changing their beliefs about something about you after learning a harsh lesson. I'm getting that for some of my Leos. So y'all just take what resonates. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Page of Wands. And then we have the Three of Swords. Wow. But it's telling me that somebody was meant to walk away from a relationship or meant to walk away from a belief system after being taught a lesson. And now this person could be wanting to work on a connection with you, Leo. But whoever this is, this is somebody that feels like they are more safe and secure and holding on to you more than anything. But I am seeing that this is somebody that wants to take things to the next stage with you in life. They want to move something forward with you. Like I said, they could be either running away from karma and coming towards you. Or after they get out of a relationship, they could be coming towards you after being taught a lesson. So just take what resonates. But I am seeing that somebody needs to hold back. Somebody could be needing to hold back to, to heal. Somebody could be in a lot of pain. It's like they desire to be with you, Leo. They want to take something to the next stage. But I just feel like this is somebody that needs to heal that's holding on to you. Somebody needs to heal that's holding on to you, Leo. And, and you know what I'm really seeing? Even though your person just got out of a relationship or whatever before they come forward, I feel like your person just still could be holding on to that heartbreak from a third party even though they feel like you are somebody that they feel like they're supposed to be with because i am getting that this is somebody that knows that they are meant to be with you leo and that's the reason why they're holding on even though this person you know could be in heartbreak and still holding on to you i just feel like this person just needs some time out to heal before they actually take that step because i just feel like they kind of like forcing it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that they need to heal. But it's really showing me this is somebody that don't want to let you go. They know they need to heal. They know they need to um, let go of you, Leo. But I feel like they just don't want you to leave them. And that's why they still hold on to you while they're in heartbreak. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, let's keep it moving and see what's going on. Because somebody still desires to have you, but they're heartbreak. And some of y'all, y'all need to take a step back because I just feel like this is somebody that 
that's still holding on to heartbreak and you. And it, may, and it don't have nothing to do with you. This heartbreak somebody is feeling right now, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the third party, Leo. But they do want to be with you. But they know they can't because they're in heartbreak. But I just keep getting this energy of somebody holding on. Somebody holding on to you. Yeah, this is somebody that's deeply in their feelings right now. They didn't love that person, though. But I feel like your person was in a karmic connection with somebody that maybe they had a soul tie to. It's like they are meant to walk away from that relationship. It was keeping them emotionally unstable. I knew it. The connection that your person was in before they come forward to you. That relationship was keeping your person emotionally unstable. But spirit has taught this person a lesson or still in the mix of teaching this person a lesson while they're holding on to you. But I feel like your person wants to work on this connection after some realization, after something has been, you know, revealed to them. Ten of swords, but they are telling y'all somebody's finding it very difficult to let go of the pain of an ending. It was very painful because in reality, yes, this person wants to hold on to you, but at the same time, they need to take a step back from you if they still hurt about a third party. Because for real, for real, your person was emotionally like, I don't know, I feel like they was manipulated. I feel like your person always knew that there wasn't love there between them and another person because both of these, the king and the queen of cups, is reversed. So I feel like your person always knew that they wasn't in love with that third party. It's just that they was emotion. They was like manipulated to stay due to a bond, a toxic bond that they was in. Because I don't feel like your person genuinely loved that third party. It's just that the bond that they was in it caused so much pain because. I don't know why, but some of y'all, y'all person may have abandonment issues. Maybe they wasn't ready to let go of that third party. Even though they knew that they needed to let go of that third party, they were just not ready to let go of that third party because they was afraid of being abandoned. And it's like, once they really made that decision or spirit forced that decision on them to walk away from that third party because they realized that that was the person that was causing them to be stuck. It's like that's when your person went through some type of karmic lesson, um, Leo, and, and, and that's when it's bringing this person back to you. And you know what's crazy? Because your person knows they're not ready to love you like you, that you, like you need to be loved. This is somebody that has hurt you too. This is somebody that has hurt you too, Leo. With this king and this queen of cups reverse, they hurt you too. Hurting you, it hurt them. And it also hurts to let go of a third party because I feel like they wasn't ready. They was trying to hold on to that third party to work things out, but they desire you the most, Leo. Even if they tried to hold on to that third party, they was always in the back of their mind. They were desiring you, but... This person's still in a lot of pain. Somebody's in pain holding on to you, Leo. I'm telling you. I just feel like they're not equipped to like be in a relationship right now emotionally and mentally. Because they're still devastated how not only the what happened between them and a third party, but they also hurt because, like I said, they hurt you. They also hurt because they know they can't love you the way they want to love you, Leo. Yes, they desire you. Yes, they want us uh, to move things forward with you in a relationship. But the thought of losing you is painful to them. Because mind you, this is somebody that has has baggage still because of the, the stuff that they have went through. Whether it has something to do with a previous partner or whether it has something to do with just some trauma from the past. Or maybe all, all the above for some of y'all. But this is somebody that's emotionally ungrounded. They're grieving. 
after realizing that they've been holding on to something very painful from the past that they find it very difficult to let go of. Some of y'all, your person realized the person they was holding on to never loved them. Even if your person did love that third party at one point in time, like I said, some of y'all, this person could have been emotionally manipulated. But they always had a feeling that something was off about that third party, Leo. Because I strongly feel like somebody find it very difficult to let go of some form of betrayal that has already ended. But in their mind, it has not ended. And this is causing your person to be un emotionally unavailable to you. Even though they want to hold on to you. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But somebody going to get out of their head and let go of something, some baggage. I feel like eventually they will get out of their head about it, you know. Because in reality, this is what they want. They want that ten of pentacles with you. They look at you as long term. But they need to get out of their head and they, they, they need to let go of that baggage in order to be with you. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Honestly, I feel sorry for y'all person. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign or air sign or a Taurus. But this is somebody that's emotionally just all over the place. Very ungrounded. And it's sad to say because they know in the back of their mind they can't be with you how they want to. Because they know that they need to get out of their head and let go of something from the past, Leo. Okay, let's dive deeper in this situation. For my Leo spirit, clear, intuitive messages. Because at this point, they can't love you the way they want to. The desire is there, but the pain is still within them. The heartache is still within them. Because they in their head too much about what happened to them from the past. They in their head too much. They need to let it go. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Meeting has to... Yeah, it's like... Your person, they still have faith. They do. They know you are the love of their life, Leo. And them knowing that they love you, Leo, and being emotionally a grounded, uh, ungrounded about the love that they have for you, Leo, it's like they hesitate to take it. But at the same time, they go back and forth. This is somebody that goes back and forth about giving you an offer, Leo, and embracing this love. And, and then they go they go in their head about what happened to them in the past. You see what I'm saying? This is like some trauma. Your person has a some type of trauma within them. Maybe they're afraid of the past repeating itself. Because they want to go all in. They do desire you. But they go back and forth about it. Because they're not listening to their intuition. Because they are, they are emotionally ungrounded. Even though they know the truth, Leo, about you and how they feel about you and what they want with you, they just find it very difficult to listen to themselves and find that peace within because, like I said, this is somebody that's still mentally holding on to the past, I'm telling you. So it's like they know you're the one. They know they have feelings for you. But at the same time, they trigger because of something that happened to them, Leo. They can't let it go. That's why they can't give it to you right now. That's why they still hold on to you. Because they know you are the one. The time is ticking. They know this. It's time to make some changes. But it's telling me that some of y'all been in a cycle with this person, Leo back and forth because they couldn't make up their mind whether they wanted to be with you or not. Maybe at times, one minute they show you like they care or they want to be in your life or they love you. And then next minute they switch up on you. I'm just getting that intuitively. I feel like they switch up from time to time. It's like they got different personalities. Maybe you feel like this person playing with you at times. Maybe you feel like this person is just shape shifting, you know, like I said, playing with you. But they're really not playing with you. It's just a simple fact they can't make a decision because they're indecisive. They battle in their head and their heart right now. And it's causing them to be very ungrounded and just indecisive. But they know time is ticking. 
they know that, look, your person is heartbreaking. Somebody stabbed you. Listen, somebody hurt your person. This is somebody they don't talk to no more. We got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock and attack. Like, I still feel like your person is still holding on to something that they're not dealing with anymore. And some of y'all, if you in no contact with this person, Leo, the more you don't, you, you go no contact with this person. Because I'm hearing that some of y'all was on the urge of walking away because they hurt you too in the mix of the situation by playing with you. And like I said, I don't feel like they really was playing with you. It came off that way. You know, because they couldn't make a decision whether they wanted you or whether they didn't want you. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm getting this energy of y'all being put to the side and putting things on the back burner for a little while to allow things to cool off, to, to allow this person to get their mind together. Because, like I said, you didn't know what what they wanted. Or they just didn't know what they wanted. Like I said, it was indecisive. But, like I said, some of y'all may have went no contact because... They may have hurt you in the mix of the situation by not being able to make a decision. But expect this person to contact you, Leo. Expect this person to contact you. Because they do think about, you know, the things that y'all have went through. They can't stop thinking about you regardless. Because I got a feeling some of y'all did fall back for a little while. Some of y'all did. So expect this person to reach out. But um, I'm not going to lie. Your person could be reaching out still in their head. They still reaching out in their head. Because I feel like, I'm not going to say your person losing themselves. They could be. But I just feel like. At times when you they do contact you or you contact them, they are very much triggered. They are because they love you so much. That's the crazy. Pe I feel bad for this person because they traumatize whoever this is. This could be you or this could be them. But they are more frightened than anything, Leo, of giving their whole heart to you. But at the same time, they don't want to let you go. They know they need to heal. They know they need to make change. But the thought of losing you, it, it really does kind of scare them. Because mind you, like I said from the beginning, this is somebody that has abandonment issues. Honestly, I feel like they got abandonment issues. They don't want you to go because they know you are the one. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're afraid of getting their heart broken all over again. And I don't blame them. Right there, they just need to fall back for a little bit and heal. They're not allowing themselves to, I feel like they are allowing themselves to heal, but it's like, in the mix of healing, they get in their head, Leo, about you leaving them. You see what I'm saying? They get too much in their head and think you're going to leave them like the last person left them or like other people may have left them. Because I don't know if the third party left them or they was forced to leave them. It's one or the other. But I feel like your person has abandonment issues. I just feel that way. In my spirit, I feel like your person has abandonment issues. Due to the past trauma that they have experienced. People walking out on them. People probably cheating on them. You know, and they just don't want the same. They don't want history repeating itself. And like I said, I don't blame them. But if they feel like they're not ready to love you. The way they should, I feel like they should fall back. You see what I'm saying? And not be afraid of losing you. Because if you really, if they know that if you really love them, you're going to like stick around. You know what I'm saying? Not stick around and be hurt. I know that. You know, I don't blame y'all either for falling back. Because some of y'all fell back because they was hurting you in the mix of this situation. You know, but I just felt like if your, your person just need to stay positive. Because if they really love you and you really love them, you ain't going nowhere. But like I said, you're not about to stick around for the abuse. However, they uh, may have got at you. Whether they may have been verbally abusive towards you. Whether they have been um, psychologically abusive towards you, which I don't feel like they have. Like I said, I just feel like they came off that way. Uh, it seemed like they were playing mind games. But in reality, they just was confused and couldn't make a decision about you know what to do with you at that time because it was in so much pain 
but I just felt like that's what happened. I felt like in the mix of them being indecisive, it seemed like they was playing games, but it's just that they was hurt and couldn't make a decision with y'all. That's what it was. Like I said, a lot of y'all may be dealing with a water sign, or you may be cross-watching. Maybe you are a water sign or a Taurus. Or you could be an air sign if you were cross-watcher. Because some of y'all could have Leo in y'all chart and water. So it could be that too, or a Taurus in your chart. But just take what resonates. So somebody, um, like I said, they're going to reach out to you or whatever, right? Because they know time is ticking. They, and it really ain't even time is ticking. I just felt like they just, they want to do the right thing, Leo. But I feel like they get in their head still. They still get triggered when they do reach out to you, you know, because they're scared of moving to the next stage in, in life. They look at you as somebody who is very confident. You know, you standing in your power right now. You know, and that is making this person, but you know, think get in their head and think that you're going to like walk away from them. But I feel like you only take a step back from avoiding from being hurt. I don't feel like you got it in your mind to leave. I just feel like it's just to avoid from being hurt. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all probably told them that you wasn't going to leave, but they may have took it hard. They may have took it the wrong way. Like, oh, you step taking a step back. You know, you're going to leave me type stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I feel like it's your confidence that they're really threatened by. They're really intimidated by that. They're afraid of that. They're afraid of you moving on because how confident you come off of. You know what I'm saying? By holding back. But they get in their head about that. They find it very difficult to recover from. I'm telling you, even if you're not going nowhere, even if you made a decision to not go anywhere, I just feel like your person still needs to recover. Because they still think about their past. And they do think about moving forward towards you. Because I feel like they get cold feet sometimes. They do. It's like they got one foot in, one foot out. Because they, they need to recover, I'm telling y'all. Whoever it is, they need to heal. They're not allowing themselves to fully heal. So it's like they rather play it safe and hold on to you, Leo. They need to recover. They're not recovering from something that they're still holding on to. This energy is strong. I'm breathing hard. <laughs> I feel like I can't breathe. Maybe they feel like that. Maybe they feel like they can't breathe. Like I said, it's somebody that has a lot of trauma. And it's, it's crazy because they love you. This person love you. They look at you as their safe space. They look at you as their safe haven. You know what I'm saying? This person deeply in love with you, Leo. That's why they holding on. I strongly feel like y'all love each other. But like I said, you just not stupid enough to continue to hold on or cater to somebody that for one, they don't want to be kept. I don't like I said, I can't even say they don't want to be kept. It just come off like that. Um, just somebody that hurts you in the mix of, the, of of them being hurt. You know what I'm saying? Cause like they kind of scare you too. You know, like look, sabotage the connection. Sabotage the connection. That's what they were doing. They were sabotaging the connection, Leo. Picking fights with you. You know, maybe even stirring up some, like I said, some drama. All because they conflicted. But whatever was once destroyed between y'all, it will, it will get back in alignment. It's just that your person needs to work on themselves a lot more. They need to work on themselves. They need to make some changes. They need to let go of a past experience that may have hurt them, that they have already walked away from. Because whoever that they were dealing with in the past, that like I said, this situation happened a long time ago. I strongly feel like it ended a long time ago, Leo. And it's like when you step in their life, you know they get triggered because they get a, they get cold feet. They'd be afraid of the past repeating itself. But I strongly feel like that's about to end. It's about to end. As long as they work on themselves, it's going to take some work. As long as they work on themselves, Leo, if they do the work, 
there will be some changes. But if they don't work on themselves, spirit is going to make some changes for them. Something is going to change for them. So it's like your person is going to be forced to make some changes. You see what I'm saying? Because they know that they can end up losing you. Because you're on the urge of walking away. Because you don't want to be hurt. You see what I'm saying? But I just felt like they need to end a situation that was just very, that was a, that was a very painful experience for them. It wasn't good memories at all. It wasn't. I just felt like they need to end it. They need to let it go. But it's telling me that your person still could, could um, get cold feet and afraid of actually giving their full heart, you know, to you because they just find, they just traumatize by the past. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, a fire sign, I already said water in Taurus. But I feel I'm hearing this is somebody I need to give it to God. This is somebody that needs to free themselves mentally and emotionally from the past so they can have this, this loving experience with you. Because I'm telling you, this connection with y'all is it's capable of being stable and safe and secure. There's love between the two of you. There's a bond between the two of you. This person knows that they love you. And you know that, they, that you love them too. But... Giving mixed signals is going to definitely run you off because you and the like they putting you in a lot of pain by holding on, you know, acting like they're emotionally un unavailable. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let's pull some more cards. Let's pull some more cards. Cause I just feel like your person got a lot of work to do. I'm not even going to lie. They traumatized. Like, how can you hold on to somebody that's traumatized about a past situation and and hurt you in the mix of their pain? You see what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to do with that. That, like I said from the beginning, they hurt, they pain, what they have been through. It has nothing to do with you at all. If anything, you could, you could, you more of a safe haven to them. And they know this. But they get cold feet. They they run away. It's too much damage that's damage that has been done to this person. And I just felt like they need to work on themselves. Because they did attempt to work on it with you, Leo, before after walking away from somebody. But they they got triggered. Like I said from the beginning, y'all may have a back and forth situation and they sabotage this connection. Sad it's, it's a sad case to be honest. Don't put up with my bullshit. Yes, I did not say some of y'all was on the urge of walking away. Some of y'all already had walked away or just fell back for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Which still triggered them because they think you're going to lead them. You see what I'm saying? But it's all up to y'all, Leo. You wait on nobody. You wait on nobody. Live your life. If they don't want to get it right, if they don't believe that, you know, you are, I wouldn't say you are the one, you're not the one. If they still hurt by the past i just feel like you need to pull back to let them do the work i can't talk to you right now yeah somebody don't want to talk they find it very difficult to open up to you also they know that you tired of them they know this this is somebody that knows that you are tired of them and you on a you on the urge of walking away because they don't know how to open up Keep making head over heart decisions because they scared. They better get it right or get left. I am blocked. So some of y'all, maybe they blocked you or you going to end up blocking them. Or this is just what's been going on between y'all back and forth. They'll block you, unblock you. Like I said, they get cold feet. They get scared, Leo. Your person gets. Because I'm seeing the eight of pentacles twice in the spread. Where the other, where the other one at? No, I seen it in this deck. At the bottom, I think I did. Cause like I said, they 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 left somebody. They they was attempting to work on this connection because that's what they really want. But they get triggered. They sabotage it. They sabotage it. Didn't I see that? Yup, eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles reversed. They they start working on this connection. 
because they go, they go, they going through a lot of changes over a situation that has left their life already. That was a bad experience. I'm telling y'all. They know you, you're right. Whatever you said to them, it's, it's telling me some delays with this unblocked. They can't talk to you right They They delaying it. They delaying it. But like I said, whatever you said to them, they know that you are right. They just, maybe they just chose not to embrace the love at times. You know, they run away from here and run away love. That's exactly what I heard. That's exactly what I heard. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. And we all, and y'all take care.